The long-awaited return of Amtrak to the Gulf Coast will happen a lot sooner than expected. Today, Amtrak announced it hopes to start running the trains from Mobile to New Orleans in January. Amber Grigley joins us now with what she's learned. Amber, some exciting news to a lot of folks. Absolutely, Roseanne, and good evening to you and Peter. You know. It's been more than 15 years since Amtrak has been here in the city of Mobile. Now, after today's major announcement, many people here can't help but to rejoice in the amazing opportunities to come to our area. If it do come back, I'd be so glad. Come beyond now. After Hurricane Katrina hit the Gulf Coast, tracks were badly damaged, forcing the company to stop service between Mobile and New Orleans. It had us so bad when they left here. Years later, the Southern Rail Commission secured more than $66 million for Mobile, Gulfport, Biloxi, Pascagoula, and Bay St. Louis to go towards planning and improvements to rail stations along the Mobile to New Orleans route. Something good for the city. A huge step in the right direction that will boost the economy and bring more travel options to the port city. I think it's good that they're coming back. Um, that means more jobs, more opportunities for people to travel. Um, they don't want to rent a car. They won't, don't want to um, book a flight, um, a train. That's an option. I mean, that would be something that I would be interested in. I've never been on a train before. Dr. David Hundera, Amtrak Vice President of Stations and Accessibility, made remarks at the quarterly meeting of the Southern Rail Commission. Saying in part, Amtrak will work with the cities on a phased approach to initially modify the existing platforms and complete all needed repairs in the path of travel. Amtrak's intent is to pay for these repairs subject to FRA approval and also to invest in constructing new accessible, well-lit ADA complaint platforms in phase two. I, I, it's worth, it'll be worth the wait. So I'm excited about it. I think it's a good idea to bring it back. Now that $66 million in funding is secured for the next three years. Amtrak said, you know, they should have no problem meeting that start date in January 2022. But for now, in downtown Mobile, I'm Amber Grigley, WKRG News 5.